Roy and HG better live up to the hype because you guys have been going on about them for ages. And I thought, right, I will watch it. I'll give it a go. So today they are going to be covering the gymnastics. Oh, and don't forget, like and subscribe. Let's go. Now, Roy, one of the things, of course, that um, you and I have been able to observe up close and we've been seeing many things that have really, really... Is the Roy character on the left wearing a wig? Because that doesn't look like normal hair to me. Educated us here at these Olympics. We were pretty ignorant about gymnastics when it started, but bloody hell, that didn't prevent us from having fun at it. And so let's see how much fun we had at the gymnastics one day earlier in the Games. Superdome, the grand old girl, and we've got uh, women's gymnastics team final up and uh, Dong Feng Zhao up from China on the floor routine. Roy, she selected Zorba the Greek as her theme music. Beautiful cross-pollination, multicultural event. Here she goes. And the way she goes, a beautiful tumbler. This uh, girl from uh, Shenzhou province. She started beautiful off stuff. with uh, a spin of the date, HG. She did. Here she comes. Oh, look at that batted salve. If, uh, if a male performer did that, you'd have to carry him straight off, wouldn't you? <laughs> that was a brilliant salve. I'm getting the idea is they say these funny things, but keep the sort of a, a neutral tone. To, you know, they say funny things, but they're not actually highlighting that they're funny. They're pretending. I'm assuming they're pretending to be normal commentators, but saying stupid things. But they are right. If, if a man did that, he would be straight off. That would be agony. Yes. And now, of course, the slight Dutch wink. Slight Dutch wink. Uh, vertical Dutch, or horizontal, I should say, Dutch wink, HG. And That's got to be something to do with the um, ladies downstairs. Now she's Most moving towards the far corner on the knees, doing the diddly squats. <laughs> and this girl has made the diddly squat her own, as we'll see a little bit later. Uh, here she goes right up into the corner to begin what I think will pass that'll end up in a beautiful diddly squat. Uh, I think if we can get this, this will be brilliant if the camera can stay with us. Here she comes. Oh, There's the squat. Yes. Beautiful squat. Unfortunately, it was a squat out of bounds. Out of how are they How are they saying these things without giggling? Like, this is the sort of stuff that even, even grown adults will giggle at because it's completely childish, funny co sort of comedy. But, uh, yeah, a gr grown men... Surely even grown men will giggle at this. How they can keep a straight sort of straight face and uh, is it beyond me? Now it's going back towards the far another, corner. Oh, another twinkle with spin the date. And Very uh, nice. Here she comes doing the little squats now and the pony steps. The story, yes. of course, of the long march as all Chinese gymnasts are want to do. It's a beautiful story of people Dutch winking Dutch their wink, way. Dutch wink. Bad of the sad. Of the sad. Enormous. There's the diddly squat on the knees, <coughs> and then she goes to the corner for the final pass. Tremendous routine here, Roy. It's it, it, it's a very tight, wonderful routine. HG, she's really thought it through, and it does evoke Zorba and Mao. That's what I like about it. <laughs> and here she comes, returns to the centre with a lovely little Ooh. spinning the date and a horizontal Dutch wink in the vertical vertical, vertical plane. position of the That's Dutch wing. beautiful. Marvelously controlled, HG. She should be very happy with that performance. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that from dong from china if i find out if i find that find out that this isn't a joke as in the commentary isn't, isn't a joke then i will be completely bemused because it's definitely dutch wink is definitely open the legs you know downstairs um diddly squat you're how they can keep a straight face is beyond me because i don't think i could I don't think I could. There must be. They must have done this a few times. And it, there must be some outtakes somewhere. If you know there's the outtakes, please tell me about them. And uh, I, I'd give it about 9-3, I think. 9-3, yes, as yeah. we watch again. Here she goes with the spinning of the date, with twinkle. And twist. And twist. Yes, Yang Wei up now uh, from China. And uh, very, very exciting. A very, very exciting prospect. His wigwams with Phil Droy. I mean, there's been very big raps in the Sydney media already about this bloke. He put on a display, I understand, at the last lap last night of wigwams with Phil on the bar. And he had everybody in uproar. Yep. Here he comes now into the corner and ready to start. Yang Wei uh, from China. And uh, China, God, what a place. Incredible gymnastic talent so deep. I think he began uh, he began gymnastics in the womb, Roy, this boy. I think so. They passed him a bar. It goes back to the Ming dynasty, doesn't it? It 
Oh, indeed. Way back. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. Fantastic. He almost he almost lost the uh, the commentary then. When he said about the the, the the Ming Dynasty, I definitely heard a little chuckle. Fantastic reposition. Just as a settler. Just as a settler. He's just feeling the mat here. Feeling the mat. Oh, 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 look at that. Oh, oh, fantastic. Oh, oh, bang oh, the back to the set. Straight into that. Straight into that hello, boys there, HG. Yeah. And here we are, closed door. And then a 360 degree. Look at that party. Party date. And also little hello, boys there. The hello, <laughs> boys there. <laughs> top of the party date. Yes. And very good work. Two bag, flat bag, flat bag. <laughs> hands in Perfectly the air. controlled. Will he go into a, a hello, boys? Out of that, yes, he is, and closes the door, and it's me. That's right. The 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 genital references are strong here. The genital references are very strong. Then he closes the door in the vertical. It's not me. Everyone's home. Then he goes on and finishes it up with another beautiful pass into everyone's home in the vertical position. Then he moves on across the mat. Look at that corkscrew dive there. That was fabulous as he comes to the final. That's probably the only actual name of a move they've done. All of the others are not real names. Starting position of his final pass here at the Superdome. In the Can he nail this? He comes, he's up there. Oh, he is. It's a oh, beautiful. Well, it's did, a bit of a did, problem in the landing. He did have a bit of a rusher about it, that landing. He did, he did. <laughs> but I would have given that a bottle of chew, Roy. A bottle of chew for that one. For a sure. bit of rusher about that one. <laughs> yes, and coming up after the break, we'll be joined by uh, two of the greats, mm. silver medalist in the pole vault, Lawrence Johnson, and super runner, John Drummond. Stay tuned for that on The Dream. Mm. Right here. <laughs> Equatorial Guinea has no... Yeah, I, I just stress this cannot be a... This must be kind of a, a little, them dressing up slightly and, and a bit of a joke. The, as I said, the genital references in this are to the max. Swimming pools, and so it's probably wise to look for the That's end of the lane flashbacks. here. That's and you'll right. notice the camera look at the bottom of the pool. Turn, Let's have a look at this. It. Yes. A little bit slow, but he's got the, the right idea. He's got the mechanics of it down, Roy. And this is the Olympic spirit writ large here <laughs> at the Sydney Aquatic Centre this morning in heat one of the 100 metres free as we see a one competitor race. Sole competitor from Equatorial Guinea, Eric Musambani. Roy, bring it home. Bring the boy home, Roy. <laughs> what is going on? The clock is beating now, HG. Let's see if he can get a record. Let's see if he can get a record. Now, we know the world record is about 48 seconds. Still, he's something like that. Correct. He's up to 107. He, this we is about how good I swim, if that helps. I am a rubbish at swimming. He is. He, he is comes now. He's come on, Eric. He's got a chance to get the Equatorial Guinea record, though, and I think he's right on target for the Equatorial Guinea record. What is the Equatorial Guinea record? History in the making. It's about 151. 153, I think, Roy. 153. 80, which Eric holds. Here's a very big chance. He's got a very big chance to go under the Equatorial Guinea record. Come on, Eric. Heat one of the 100 metres free here at the city. Come on, Eric. A lot of support here today. Go, Eric. Go, Eric. Eric. Bring it in. Come on, Eric. You can get there. Two left, man. You've got a little bit left. He's well, slowing down. Forget that. He's having to forget that. That's meaningless now. Here Come on, Harris. You can't can show. Can he do it? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got an Equatorial Guinea record smashed here at the Sydney Aquatic Centre by the great, great Eric Musambani. Forget <laughs> Thorpe. Forget Klim. Focus on Eric. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. What a piss take. It's got to be a piss take. I suppose I suppose you didn't quite let me down. I just I, I do love how how straight faced they they are staying uh, in the gymnastics there. The the genital references how they surely they didn't get that in one take because any grown adult will be giggling to that. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. It doesn't matter how serious you are, the child will come out of you of you. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Well done. Uh, Remember, like and subscribe and I will catch you next time.